the Bible that God sent his son to the earth to suffer for the sins of the people. That sounds so like, um, you know, so kind of childish actually to me. You know, why does a person with nothing to do with it, why can't God say, okay, I'll forgive you or whatever, why does he have sent it like to send his son down? Exactly. And, and, and get him crucified or whatever and die yeah. for him. I didn't so, die for anybody's sins. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing I can do about your sins. So you're not here to pay a bit, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> not here to pay a bit, right? <laughs> no. Right. no it's, it, these are all teachings of an unloving God. And any time you hear a teaching that refers to an unloving God, it is in an error. error. Why did you die in that manner? And there were a lot of factors at play, and particularly the conflict between truth and error. When you're in a state of truth, you will never compromise. So I didn't compromise in a state of truth in the first century, but there was so much error in the first century that uh, the majority of people around me, around me wanted me dead. And they had they gave me many warnings for this guy. So there were a number of times, one time I was stabbed uh, before my actual death. There was quite a number of times when my life was threatened before my death. Uh, but it was just because of the conflict between truth and error. They had to remove the truth. Sorry? They had to remove the truth. They had to remove the truth in order to remain in the error. And, and, and honestly, that's what happens with people in error. When you are in error, you will get angry, you will get upset. You will, and there are many people historically that have, that have justified murder because of their anger. And they felt they were doing the right thing. There are many of my friends now in the celestial heavens. This area here is called the celestial heavens. And there's many of my friends there who, some of them actually killed me. In fact, one of the persons who returned with me nailed the nails into my hands and fed them. Um, well, jealousy is an emotional untruth. So, that's, the first thing to understand is we're not talking about untruth, I'm not talking about... Anything into it. I'm not, no, I'm not talking about anything in terms of intellectual belief. I'm talking about the emotion that drives the person. So jealousy is an emotion of untruth. It's an emotion of error. It's an emotion in disharmony with love. Yeah. Uh, just like all the other emotions. 